So maybe for a second, let's pretend that you and I are sitting in a dorm room and we're by ourselves and we're getting ready together and we're having a conversation about motherhood and careers. I get to talk to lots of moms on here on a daily basis and I figured while I'm getting ready, um, I'll show you some of my products that I use to get ready and I just want to like provide some support around like to working moms. Um, if you want to talk about balancing work, if you want to talk about career pivots to be able to be a present mom and still have something for yourself, I figured I'm going to share my story a little bit and answer some questions and then put some makeup on. Full disclosure, all my kids are home from school. We have soccer tonight and I have just been doing some behind the scenes stuff today and so I need to get ready <laughs> and I am single mom in this weekend so pray for me. <laughs> I right now am putting on the beauty counter, I've got someone crying out there, number four deuced in tinted moisturizer. I am mixing it with the um, BB cream SPF 40 broad spectrum sand color. I really like the dewiness of the BB cream and I like the um, matte finish of the BB cream and the coverage of the BB cream. But, um, so I mix them together so I can get the look that I want for both. They're also a slightly different shade and I feel like I'm between shades before we come back to summer. So, um, I am a mom of four. When I started my journey in online business, or before I started my journey in online business, I was a math teacher, a second grade math teacher to be specific. And I remember loving my job as a teacher. I always knew in the back of my mind, like when it's time for me to have kids, there is no way I'm gonna be able to teach and have kids. And that is no slam to anyone who does that. I just knew mentally, emotionally, like it wasn't gonna happen because I literally remember when I would come home from school in total silence and then I would sit on my couch and I would eat chocolate chips and peanut butter because I was just emotionally spent. Like if you're a teacher and you're listening to this right now, you have the most noble per profession on the planet and you don't get near paid enough for it. It's just the truth. And so when I got pregnant five months into marriage, I was like, well, we gotta figure some things out because we have student loans to pay off. We are like very young and I, oopsies, I did this wrong. I didn't even do that next. Next, I meant to do my El Maquillage Concealer, best concealer that I've ever had. Um, anyways, we were young and we had loans to pay and we wanted to be in a place where we would say yes. I felt like there were times in my life where we were always like struggling and like, growing up and I just wanted to give my kids a life where we didn't have to worry about paying for sports. We could go on family vacations. We would be out of debt. And so our five year plan when we got married was to um, pay off all of our debt, buy our first home, etc. We got pregnant five months into marriage. So the plan had to change, right? And so originally when we could live on Joe's income and put all my income towards debt, like that was gonna plan, that plan was gonna work. But the reality is I was like, I cannot be a mom and, um, have a baby and teach. That's not gonna happen. Like I, I am emotionally spent teaching my kids all great. Also, can you can you hear me? I have kids who've already come in. Mm -hmm. I yeah, baby, what's up? Um, 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 I cleaned up all the paper. And where did you see my tablet? That was on. I was on the couch. In the learning closet. Did you do the markers too? Yeah. Okay. I should show you this. These are beauty counter. Their blush. Cheeky clean cream brush blush and their bronzer. Doing it around the face, on the jawline, and a little bit here and a little bit there. So anywho, I knew I couldn't be both a, a good present mom, and again, I'm not fancy, I'm just literally rubbing this in with my hands, and teach. So what was that gonna look like for me? I started waitressing to kind of test that. I used to waitress when I was younger. Waitresses are some of the hardest working people on the planet as well. And again, if I was waitressing, that meant that Joe and I would be passing ships. Like I would not see him, right? The money was pretty good. Um, it, I was pretty good at it, but again, I wouldn't see Joe. And the point was me, for me to have time with my family, right? So waitressing, no. I actually started tutoring. I started tutor tutoring with a company and full disclosure, I hated it. <laughs> I like dreaded doing it every single day, which is funny because I did enjoy teaching quite a bit, but I think like the one-on-one -on -one interesting for me was like really draining. I don't know why, or maybe the pay wasn't very good. I think I was getting paid like $17 an hour or something, which for tutoring actually isn't terrible, but I just like, I was never excited to do it. And I just felt like I'm not going to show up and work on something I'm not passionate about because my family is going to feel my like, 
how unexcited I am about my career. So I say this to you as a mom, if right now you are in a career that you are not excited about, like how is that making you show up to your daily life? If you are stressed as you're getting ready for work, how do you think your family feels that? How do you think your husband feels that? How do you think those people around you feel that? Take that as your sign. This is your intuition telling you something needs to change because if I'm, if there's like a out of alignment, I'm not showing up as the best version of myself and I'm like not equipping other people to show up as the best version of myself. Cause here's the deal friends. We would die for our children. Sorry. I'm trying to do this the same time, right? You would die for your children, but how often do we live for them? Do you live for your children? Meaning we kind of picture this, like I will sacrifice all of me to make sure my kids have everything. For example, like I want my kids to dream big. I want them to know they can say anything, like do anything they set their mind to. Well, guess what? Are you dreaming big? Because at some point they're going to see mom's telling me to dream big and I can be anything I want, but mom is not being everything she wants. Is this a little bit of hypocrisy? And I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to, I don't want to shame you, but I want to be lovingly honest that there are children come to an age at some point where it's more important for them to see what we're doing and like showing the way versus telling them, right? We got to show them the way to act versus tell. For example, I get out and run uh, most mornings. I forgot to say, this is Gimme Brow Gel. I usually use beauty counters, but I was out and I still need to order. Um, I run like four mornings a week. My daughter has started getting up to run with me. I did not ask her to get up and run with me. She sees her mom do it and then therefore she wants to do it, right? Um, I started doing spa nights locally where I wash women's hair for free as a means to just give them some self care. Guess who wants to invite their friends to wash parties? Who asks me all the time, when's our next wash party? My daughter, right? It's not because I'm telling her like, go make friends and let's love people. Let's like impact people. She sees her mother doing it and therefore she wants to do it too, right? So I just want to encourage you to really think about is your, is your walk matching your talk with your kids? And if right now your career, whatever it is, you're showing up and you are not satisfied, it's time to change. And the, the biggest blessing I will tell you is when you pray for um, an opportunity or you pray for a change, God hears you. Because I've seen this multiple times in my career as I was praying for an opportunity to work from home with my daughter on the way, God dropped the world of online business. Gosh, I don't know how people do this. <laughs> Looking in this tiny mirror and not getting this on yourself, my goodness. I hope this makes you feel like <laughs> I'm a real person. Anyways, um, God will drop, God will show you the way, right? And so for me, he dropped this world of online business into my lap. I don't have a business degree. Uh, it was originally with like a health and wellness partnership. And um, I, aside from my like college running career, I didn't know anything really about health and wellness. I started eating salads for the first time in college. Like I thought it was like a big deal that I ate a salad, right? Cause I literally grew up on processed food. Um, we're gonna have snack here in just a minute. We're gonna have snack in just a minute. Mommy's gonna finish up. Can you go finish putting your animals and blankets away in your room? Okay, I'm gonna come check in a couple minutes. All right, I'm gonna have to get this wrapped up. My running coach, that's right, Aisha's on here. I started a run coaching company. And again, it was the stair step of things to me um, finding myself and my passions, right? And so, but like fast forward, guess that would have been two years earlier. Like I I didn't know, I, like, I knew nothing about online business, but I just like trusted that God was putting this in my path for the right reason. So likely whatever, when you start praying, you're likely going to get dropped something that you feel very underqualified to do. Um, same thing with me jumping into motherhood, same thing with me jumping into online business for the first time. Um, you're not going to feel qualified, but that's where God wants you most because it helps you to rely on him the most. What's that baby? Can I do my tablet? Yes, you may. Um, so all that to say, you probably have some resistance built up around your career. It feels safer and more comfortable to keep doing what you're doing. It's familiar. It's what you know, but I want you to think of the consequences of your situation. How do you feel like you're paving the way for the people around you to see you being the best version of yourself so you can help them show up as the best version of yourself? Is it worth some temporary discomfort to be put on a path where you're doing something that you love, where you're making a bigger impact and you have more presence with your family? You know, that for me is why I ultimately ended up being in this um, hair care company, which again, you might see my hair now. This is my air dried hair, right? And be like, oh, that makes sense. She's got long, healthy hair. Guess what? When I started this hair care partnership five years ago, 
I had short, greasy, dull, disgusting, thin hair. I was the least underqualified person to start, but you know what? I did anyways. Thankfully, I partnered up with women who are business coaches and you know content creators and photographers, so I got to get all that mentorship for free. That's why I truly believe direct sales is one of the smartest ways for women to take career pivots because you get mentorship, you get leadership d development, you get support, you um, the pay if you're with the right company is really, really good. Um, so why not try something that's a business in a box? You know, that might feel like a simpler career pivot. And for most people, if you have an existing career, like I see my girl Brittany popped on here, um, who runs a Pilates studio, a lot of times the, the great thing with direct sales is it can kind of give you a, um, like, a, like a small jump, right? You don't have to just quit your job and then start a direct sales business, your direct sales business often grows because you're in your job and it's like your warm market of people who buy for you and when you build it up enough, if you wanna quit your job, you can. And it's something you can do in like the cracks of your day, you know? So, you know, let it be your encouragement that direct sales is a, one of the safest ways for you to make a jump for your family without like just going cold turkey, losing your income. Now I went cold turkey and lost my income and I actually grew, like I made my first thousand dollars, let's see here. Ellie was born in July. I think I made my first thousand dollars online like in October when I did my first um, like run coaching group. It was like my first 10 people who I who paid me a hundred dollars. What's up, baby? Talking to, talking to my friends. And, um, but I think for me going cold turkey was helpful. But again, I had the benefit of my husband. We had taught ourselves to live on his income. And so I kind of had the freedom to like do my thing, you know? Um, so you got to do what's right for you, but let this be your encouragement. If you need a career pivot, I talk to so many moms every day who like, gosh, I, like I can think of moms who like struggle to get off field trips in my kid's class because they work and they only have a certain amount of days a year and they have to decide, am I going to what? Um, on my tablet, um, on, on days I get supplies. That's awesome. So funny story. We do very minimal screen time. We do tablets Monday, Wednesday, Friday for 30 minutes. <laughs> and today happens to be a tablet. So I thought maybe I could hop on really quick. Um, but I, I just talked to so many moms who, like, who will be like, oh, you work from home. Like, I wish I could do that. Or um, they can't get time off to, for field trips because they have to work. Or they do work from home, but they're still restricted. Like they're on salary or they have to work a certain number of hours and it's still not as flexible as they want. The beauty of direct sales is it is what you want it to be. I work when I want, how I want to. If I want to grow more, I put in more time. If I want to sustain, I create some maintaining hours depending on our season of life. And like the, you can build a very lucrative income stream if you're intentional with your time, not scrolling, that does not count, um, in 30 to 60 minutes a day. You know, ide ideally 90 is about the sweet spot if you're in a build season. But I have seen many women and myself included, if you are very intentional with 60 to 90 minutes a day, you can build a five-figure income stream or more. I see people do it more, you know? But you have to be able to make that uncomfortable choice. But the, the issue is, is, Part of the reason people don't jump into something different, right, is the pain of change. But what we have to think about is the pain of staying the same. Does the pain of staying the same mean you keep missing, you keep missing field trips or you keep feeling unsatisfied in your career or you keep being grumpy or you keep, you keep missing out on things with your kids? Think about that pain and that pain is going to then drive you to make the change you need to make. So... Hopefully this is helpful to you. I'm going to be doing more of these throughout March. We're going to do some mama millionaire interviews. I'm actually interviewing a few different moms this week who have all made a million dollars with online direct sales businesses. And I'm going to let them share their journeys and their hesitations and all the things. So be ready. They're going to come Thursdays at like one central. If you want to talk about a career pivot, you can send me a personal message or you can go to my bio and apply on the link to work with me. So Time to check on my kiddos because someone's upset. Mm -hmm. But hopefully this is helpful to you, friends. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.